A non-governmental organization known as Muslim Peace Network, MPN, and HWPL, West African Peace Development Forum, has called on the Kaduna State Government and the Ministry of Education to introduce peace education in its academic curriculum to promote peaceful coexistence and harmonious relationships among diverse faiths. The executive director of MPN, Imam Hussein Makanjola, emphasized the need for students to cohabit in schools and communities to become peace ambassadors. Try to make sure that the Kaduna State Government need to introduce the peace education course into the curriculum of Kaduna State Ministry of Education. It's very important that from the primary school to the secondary school to the higher institution, they should be know the importance of peace education. So our, all the stakeholders like our community leader, religious leader, they should try as much as possible to let their, our, our children know the importance of living with one another in peace. The ambassador and agent of peace in their various homes and uh, their various uh, communities. And also one of the facilitators and clerics stated that religious dichotomy and intolerance are major threats to peaceful coexistence among Christians and Muslims in the state and all religions needs to learn the art of tolerance and love for other religions. In a state where we are, find out that all Christians are living on one side, all Muslims are living on one side. It wasn't so before, but religious conflict divided the, the, the town, divided the society, and that has created a serious religious dichotomy, and that needs to be reblended back into society. And this state, not only this state, this country, not only this country, Africa, and even by to the larger community world over are going to be able to come together and blend into one another without having this religious divide. To be able to interact well with other people who are not, who are not, who are not uh, the same tribes with them, the same, the sa or the same religion with them, because we are aware that there is so much religious intolerance, religious and uh, tribe uh, tribalism everywhere. So we teach them even here as part of our GRC um, section have a program on this because we know that as they leave the school they are going to high institution and there they will meet uh, they will meet other students who are not the same religion with them and who are not from the, the same tribe with them some of the students who participated say the sensitization has exposed them to how to live peacefully with one another irrespective of tribe or religion which is key to development peace is very important we should have rules and principles to guide us to live with one another and tolerate and tolerate the daily activities. And those that are being discriminated, as I learned from this place, that you should keep on, you should keep on treating the people discriminating you nicely, as one day you might be the, you might be the change in their lives. We've learned that we should learn to live with our neighbors irrespective of their religion, tribe. We should try and exhibit a peaceful coexistence among ourselves, raise our country to be a better nation.